Hello, and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Newsbaum. We have a special guest today, a friend of ATP, but first a little housekeeping. Please take out your cell phone if you haven't yet. Text the message TRUTH and send it to the number 88202, push send. You'll be signed up. You'll get all of these shows absolutely for free on your cell phone, including today's special guest, Will Johnson. Will is a, a regular correspondent for ATP Report. He's the founder and publisher of Unite America First. Welcome back, Will. Hey, glad to be here, Barry. Let's talk campaigns today. Um, it's already started. I thought it was going to be over for longer, but the midterms are in full swing campaign-wise. Uh, candidates are raising money. They're filing position papers. They're soliciting endorsements. It's a full-time job if you're running for office already, um, a year and something in, ahead of the midterm elections. Many people I'm talking to have lost faith in the election system, and especially in the blue states, I should add. And these are people that are very cognizant of the Stalin quote uh, from 75 years ago, where he said, the people who cast the votes decide nothing. The people who count the votes decide everything. Will, are fair elections possible anymore? You know what? Not with that model. And the Democrats have adopted it 100%, Barry, 100%. We just saw that take place in California with sure. the gr gruesome Newsom recall. And, you know, they did the exact same thing there when you had a lot of people in California decide to do the recall. For it to get to that point, he should have been recalled. There's no way. I don't believe that he got 67% of the votes in California. This is it's just not possible because people across the board are sick of California. And let me bring up something else because you talk about Stalin. You know, in 1922, Stalin came up with the idea of this thing called Operation Trust. And what that was is that before the communism set in, they got everyone to believe, just sit back, hold tight, uh, believe that the uh, the military is going to come in and fix all of this. And while everyone was sitting back, being complacent, communism set in. We're seeing the very same thing today, and it's another Stalin tactic, but today they call it trust the plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Well said, and you're a student of history, and I appreciate that. So speaking about history, our former president, Donald Trump, has all but said he's running again. Is he going to be able to regain the White House in 2024, especially since all of the press, and I mean all of the press, and I include Fox and Newsmax uh, in all of the press list, they've all said that the election was fair and that there was no evidence of any wrongdoing in any state. Astoundingly, they say it every day. So if Trump runs again, I believe he will. I have two questions for you. Number one, will he win and why? And secondly, will the press unanimously line up against him? So I'll start with the first one. Well, I think he's running. Yeah, I, I think I think he's going to run. And he's kind of like really, you know, hinted to it, a strongly hint, right? And I think he's going to run again. Now, can he win again? I think personally, on a personal note, he won the last time. But just like you just mentioned, it doesn't matter. Whoever's counting the vote, whoever say, whoever get to come out and say, this is who we're giving it to, they're the ones calling the election. So it doesn't even matter. And to, it kind of ties into with the liberal media or just the media in general, because you mentioned Fox News and Newsmax. Both of them right now would not allow anyone to come under and talk about the frauds and the stuff that took place that we all saw take place during the election. They won't even allow anyone to come under and talk about it. But remember, we were all able to talk about, they even talked about it, Russia, Russia, Russia. They talked about Russia so much, and now it's starting to come out, and a lot of liberals are starting to recognize that the whole Russia collusion delusion was just that, something that the Clintons were pushing. And a lot of people are recognizing. Now, the media, they're not going to stop their endless attacks on President Trump, their endless attacks on the American people. And President Trump was correct. 
the media, they are the enemy of the state. They are the enemy of the people. They put out propaganda. They've been caught putting out propaganda, and they continue to do it. They're not going to stop. And one more thing about the election. If the Democrats are successful in doing the John Lewis bill and the People's Act, where they do away with the Electoral College, and then they federalize the elections across the board, we're all screwed, if I can say that. We're literally. You can say it, but I'm going to ask you again to answer my question. Is Trump going to win in 2024? Oh, yeah. I think he is going to win, just like he won in 2022 or 2020. He won then, he's won again, but like you mentioned, if they're counting it, they get to announce it, it doesn't matter. We're, we're in a world of hurt. Okay, so on the other side of the ledger, Will Johnson, who will be the Democrat candidate? Biden, Kamala, somebody else. Remember, the incumbent always gets the nomination from their party if they want it. Mm -hmm. Well, we all know that Kamala wants power. She's drunk on it. And if you notice, I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of the stuff with these cri with the crisis and everything, she's been kind of distancing herself from o Biden. Because before, every time Biden would do a speak, he would speak before the press or whatever it is, she was right there. Here lately, she's nowhere to be found. And people are even asking, where is she? We still have the border crisis. She's a border czar. She's disappeared on that. But she'll come out, she'll say a statement when they, when you see some cowboys on a horse, cowboys on a horse with black people running around, then she'll make a statement because of the optics. She's not doing anything. She's waiting in the back to run once Biden is out the way. Well, I think you're making a very astute comment. Um, it was very weird for me to watch. Every time Biden made a speech over his right shoulder was Kamala with a mask on, just nodding as if she was on board with everything that Biden was saying and doing. His poll numbers have literally fallen off a cliff <laughs> ever since the Afghan pullout combined with the border debacle oh, yeah. uh, down in Texas. Kamala has vanished. I think her handlers say, if you want any poll numbers that will support your candidacy in 2024, don't appear on camera with President Biden or you'll go down the toilet numbers wise with him. Well, she was already in the toilet before the 2020. Remember during the general election, she couldn't get anywhere. She completely flopped. So, you know, the only reason why they selected her because she's a woman of color and she's a woman. That's it. Her complexion and what's between her legs is the only reason why they selected her because they wanted to make history. They still want to make history. They still want to break that glass ceiling. They want her to be president, no matter how much they dislike her. Because they couldn't, there's no way that they can put Hillary Clinton in there. There's just no way. So they're going to go with the the next the next worst thing, and that's going to be Kamala Harris. And I still don't see Elizabeth Warren doing it. But then again, you know, things change, stuff happens. So with her being a VP to to someone who has dementia, and they're not doing anything about it, it's going to reflect bad on her. So prediction time. It's 2024, Will Johnson. Look into your crystal ball. Who's the next president of the United States? Well, just looking at the writing on the wall is President Trump. President Trump right now, he's pulling in thousands and thousands of people to rallies that are not campaign rallies. He's just having a rally. Really? Come on. Thousands of people in Biden, he can barely get 50 people to show up in the social distancing bubble circles that they have. This is ridiculous. The same thing that happened in 2020, they're going to try to do the same thing in 2024. I mean, we all see it. Just imagine, we're getting ready to come into the midterm elections. Shutdowns are coming. Mail-in ballots are coming. They're going to do it all over again because they have to make sure that the policy or the, the, the tactic that they did in 2020 is still in place. But they're upset with states like Texas. Well, the, the obvious question is, at what point, does the Democrat party decide, hey, this candidate can't tie his own shoes. He wanders around the stage in the middle of his own press conferences. I mean, the other day he was caught on a hot mic with the India prime minister saying, don't talk to the press, yeah. don't take questions. I mean, I've never heard of this. This is unheard of. They're doing their best to hide him. Mm -hmm. But at some point, America is gonna say, 
Uncle Joe is just done. When do they well, replace him? Well, you know, I would have to say, Barry, they knew Biden was like this before when he was stuck in the basement. They knew. The only reason why they had him there is because they this is somebody that they know they can control. They can just put whatever it is that they want on a teleprompter and just have him read that. That's all they need. Biden or Obama even mentioned that, it, hey, I could, you know, if I could run the country from, you know, my office, I would do it. Just have someone there to do it. That's actually taking place because, you know, they're still asking Obama for advice and Biden is just reading it on the teleprompter. Well, the future is going to be really interesting because I agree with you, Will Johnson. Biden is incoherent at times. <laughs> and I actually, as a human being, feel sorry for him as an American. However, I'm furious and quite concerned for the future of our country. Because the most powerful man in the world is the president of the United States. And this guy is becoming thoroughly, and I mean these words, non-functioning. Mm. At some point, don't you agree? They've got to get him out of there before the election time, or he'll be destroyed in a re-election. No, I, I, I agree with you. I think um, he's declining so much that he can he can't even have a complete sentence. And even when he has the teleprompter, he's messing that up. And, you know, he'll he'll do this when he wants the teleprompter to go back or, you know, slow down or something. He constantly he'll constantly do that. I don't know if you've noticed that, but um, he he has declined so much that it's going to end up hurting them in the midterm elections because none of the Democrats have spoken out against this. And on top of that, he's pushing this whole build back better, basically to destroy the world economy, the, the, the American economy. It's not about building something back better. How do you take something that's not broken and then, and then break it? That's exactly what Biden has done. We were number one, energy efficient. You've heard all of this. We were number one, the stock market was booming. We were the number one exporters of natural gas. The jobs were just booming. There were more jobs than people filling them. Like it is today almost, but now today people are not feeling them because the socialism has set in and they're like, oh, I can get, I can stay at home and get money for free. It's, it's ridiculous how they're tearing down the nation and it's by design, build back better. Well, how can people find out about you and follow what you're doing? If you go to uniteamericafirst.com, just click on the top, just click on the tab where it says connect with Will. Perfect. And I advise all of you out there in ATP land to do that. And a last reminder, please subscribe if you haven't. Text the word truth in the message box and address it to 88202. Push send. It'll take about five seconds. You'll be signed up absolutely for free. Thanks for joining us today for ATP Report. And a special thanks for Will Johnson. I'm Barry Nussbaum.